I've already shuffled and I've also pulled two oracle cards for your recent past. There are two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go through the present time, how they see you, the person you're dealing with, and how you see them, then why it's all happening. So, Taurus, in the recent past, we have keep an open mind. And it reads, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And this card is paired with presence. On the flip side of presence, it reads, bring your mind into the present moment. Now is the only place to be. So in the recent past, you probably needed to remind yourself to keep an open mind. And stay in the present. Stay in the present moment because you might have had a bad habit of uh, looking back or thinking about uh, maybe the the good times that you had in the past. Uh, probably too much reminiscing. So that probably kept you from um, meeting your soulmate. Or the one that you were meant to be with. And you have to remind yourself that um, your soulmate may differ from your usual type. Or the type that you um, were expecting to come into your life. So you need to let go of, of a couple of things. Um, always looking back, maybe holding on to someone from the past. And thinking your soulmate would come back to you like the person that you kept looking back on that that you held in your heart so it was important to let go and keep an open mind in the recent past Taurus so let's move on down and take a look at the present time we have a six of wands with a three of cups now the six of wands is about victory so for instance, if you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know this is the time that you'll be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebrations. Now, you may be a part of a graduation party, commencement celebration, or you could be receiving a reward for the good work that you've done. The Six of Wands, it can make you feel really, really good about yourself and you may feel as if you have a whole lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. When the Six of Wands talks about love, relationships, uh, it suggests that you may need someone to boost your ego while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. You two are feeding off of each other energetically. It's that twin flame energy. You can expect a lot of sexual energy. There is, there's passion and long nights spent in bed with the six of wands. Like I said, it's that twin flame energy. There could be someone you know like this or someone coming towards you. And it's for your present time, and it's paired with the Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups is a card about reunions. Now, this could be a romantic reunion. You could also be running back into someone or something that you've been away from for a long time. This is generally considered to be a real happy reunion. Very, very upbeat. It also can mean celebration your own or someone that you care about such as celebrating a new baby wedding or a happy occasion wow when it talks about love the three of cups and relationships although this card it can mean reunion with a long lost love um it can mean other types of celebrations like we just talked about and if you're single Taurus. Um, the most likely interpretation of this card is that you'll meet a likely love soon. This person will really fit the bill of the person that you've been looking for. 
and that this person, this person will pro probably be a new love if you're single. Yeah, if you're single, probably a new love. So that's interesting. You got two celebratory, victorious cards paired together for your present time, which I've never seen before. Two of two of these type of cards together. That's pretty interesting. So, um, just to sum up the Six of Wands and the Three of Cups for your present time, uh, there's gonna you're gonna have a lot to be victor. You're gonna have a lot of victory at this time and success. A whole lot. Uh, you have reasons to celebrate at this time. Yeah, and um, because it's with the Three of Cups, it's going to make you feel very happy. You're going to be feeling like rejoicing. And there could be someone from your past returning. Yeah, and this person will probably be a soulmate. Or a twin flame returning. Because like I said, this six of wands, when it talks about love and relationships, it's that fire of balance. These are two people feeding off of each other energetically. The sexual chemistry is off the charts when you get this type of energy. And... We all know that as soulmate and twin flame energy. And it looks more like twin flame. Because these two cards paired together, it's like fireworks. Fourth of July fireworks. It's like magic. It's like, it's like, if anyone's ever been with their twin flame, uh, it's, it's something, something big. <laughs> It's, it's totally awesome. So, this is really great for your present time. Like I said, I've never gotten these, I've never received these two cards in a reading paired together. And um, it's amazing. It's like fireworks. Something awesome is coming your way, Taurus, for your present time. And it's going to set your world on fire fire and it looks like someone from the past because like I said the three of cups is about a kind of reunions this person has been away and now they're back and then you got this six of wands whereas you got that that uh, magnetic chemistry going on and then, like I said, the Three of Cups is all about happiness and rejoicing. And then it's, yeah. Yeah, that's that's really good. I'm very excited for you, Taurus, for your present time. That should, it should be really interesting for you. If this doesn't happen in February, look for March for something really exciting to happen. Because these are two really exciting cards. And they're paired together for your present time. So let's move on down and take a look at the person that you're dealing with now, currently. How they see you. Or since this, is, since this seems to be turning out to be a past person reading, it could be someone, this person that's returning to you. So I, let's say it'll go either way. Either this person that's returning to you or the person that you're dealing with. This is how they see you. They see you as this Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Swords, um, it's about holding back. Holding back because you fear moving into the future or because you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation. Or it could be for no reason at all. You need to think through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situations are that you're, it, it's probably much less frightening, frightening than your mind is making it out to be. 
when it comes to love and relationships and you get this eight of swords it points to a need to seriously reevaluate a relationship you could be sticking with someone that's actually bad for you since you figure it's better than nothing if this is the case rethink it rethink that thought because being in an unhealthy relationship is much worse than being alone and if you're looking for love first look at how well you love yourself then just know someone else cannot come along and fix you so you have to start where you are now this eight of swords is paired with the eight of wands the eight of wands is about a lot of things being up in the air for you at this time you could be frustrated tired of waiting but you have to be patient a while longer um, you could have done you, you probably have done all that you can do now decisions decisions now must be made by other people when this card appears in your reading there's nothing moving ahead but you cannot force things at this time because if you try to do that it'll backfire now when this um eight of wands talks about loves and relationships you're probably feeling ready for a commitment that doesn't seem to be forthcoming yeah so again you cannot push someone before they're ready you cannot get your needs met by force so try to distract yourself and your lover maybe back to you before you know it offering you the love you've been waiting for on a silver platter so with these two cards paired together your person is seeing you as this eight of swords and the eight of wands so they see you as um uh you're afraid of this connection you're afraid of getting hurt and um they see you as being stuck in your head about this connection And because it's with the Eight of Wands, um, they see you as too long. It's taking you too long to get to get unstuck out of your thoughts. It's taking you too long to um, just accept this relationship. Uh, it's t they see you as dragging your feet about possibly committing um, so they see you as just your thoughts are just up in the air nothing has really come down no, nothing final has come down because you're stuck in your head you're afraid of this this connection that's how they see you now let's move on over let's take a look at how you see the person you're dealing with how you view them as the page of Pentacles and the six of swords now the page of Pentacles it can be a card about boredom you could be tempted to say or do things to shake things up shake people up just for a little excitement but you need to rethink the impulse find a better use of your energy the page of Pentacles is a good energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished the page gives us focus backbone and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun when the page of Pentacles talks about love and relationships if you're in a committed relationship it's probably lost some of its luster now that doesn't mean it's the end but it does always usually mean action and discussion is necessary to create change you must be honest about how you're feeling and if you're single and unattached and cannot seem to meet someone new now Taurus take a look carefully at what you're holding in your heart you could still be attached to an ex someone from the past and you may need to let that go let that person go before you can expect to move forward this page of Pentacles it's paired with the six of swords so the six of swords 
is about a need for a change of scenery. Um, your partner, you and your partner probably needs to take a trip. Take a trip. Even if it's just down the street for a picnic or some sort. Walks around the park. So, the Six of Swords is all about, like I said, movement. It's about travel. Necessary just to get resolution. So, once you do, do this, things may not be perfect, but they'll be better than they have been in the recent past. So, it will help for you to get your head above the water. So, basically, you see the person in this. You see the person that uh, you're dealing with. You see them as this Page of Pentacles and Six of Swords. So... You see them as being ambitious, very ambitious and diligent towards this connection. Because they're trying to do things. Um, just to spice up the connection. To make it more exciting. And because it's with this Six of Swords... Uh, you also see them as needing to get their head above the, the water and make some conclusions or decisions about this connection. Yeah. You, you see them as needing to possibly get some resolution about this connection. Um, you, you, you're wanting them to take some time and maybe take some time apart from you or just take some time to think about this connection and what do they want from it where do they want it to go and um, uh, come to some type of resolution about this connection but you do see them as very ambitious about this connection. Uh, they're always probably trying to do things just to keep it exciting. But it looks like you want more, more from this connection because, or maybe they want more because, like I said, they're always trying to do things to keep it going with this page of pentacles. And with the Six of Swords, it's about movement. So, um, you see them as trying to make some type of change. Some type of transition in this connection with the Six of Swords. So, that's how you see them. So, they're putting towards some type of some energy into this, this uh, connection. And that's how you see them. Now... Let's move on down and take a look at why it's all happening. We have the Magician, and then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Magician is about great expectations and, and new beginnings. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in a whole lot of ways, many ways. Just know as a Magician, you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but... You have the potential to have that plate and, and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. The magician is all about action, and so the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. If you don't know what to do, then just make sure you do something at this time because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. When the magician talks about love and relationships, if you're in the market for a new romance, this is a time when you're likely to meet someone new right now. Someone out there, somewhere, is looking for you just as you're looking for them. Whether you find them or not, it will depend on you. So don't sit at home expecting Mr. and Mrs. Wright to walk up your garden path at this time and knock on your door. Because we all know that's, that usually doesn't happen. 
you need to be out there making yourself available to be found and this is an excellent time to do just that so Taurus make sure you're out there if you're single waving that magic wand because you can make it happen and your person that you're dealing with and yourself or it could be just your person or it could be just you but you have this magician for why it's all happening and that's basically it's about having manifestation powers yep there's manifestation powers in this connection so it that this is good because uh, there's a lot of things that that can come about in this relationship at time if someone chooses to wave the wand now both of you could just be looking at the wand and it's just sitting there on the table and no one's taking action and then nothing nothing positive or um, good things won't happen in this relationship because both of you just have the wand sitting on the table and you're not making a lot of things happen so this is why it's happening whatever's not happening in this connection or whatever should be happening in this connection uh, it could happen at this time and why it's not happening like I said it's because either you your person or both of you are just not like I said waving the wand because you have the power right now to make any changes in this relationship and because it's paired with the eight of Pentacles now the eight of Pentacles it's about a, a workload a heavy workload as you can see in the picture this man he's working in the rain and it's a it's about to turn dark outside it's about a very heavy workload so um, the appearance of this card it's it's about being actually too focused on money and what you do for a living to create space in your life for a new romance or a romance so just remember to create space because if you don't create the time and space for your uh, relationship then it could suffer. You have someone in this connection is too focused on work and money, mastering their craft. And um, you need to pull out that wand. It's with the magician. And make some changes in this connection and uh, bring the passion to the connection. Bring it back. Or make it just as important as the workload is so this is probably this is why it's happening because uh, someone is too focused on work and making money and they're forgetting that they have the manifestation powers or they either you don't know it but manifestation powers you could um, yeah you could balance it out yep you can wave the wand and just balance out the the work and the relationship at this time but you have to um, like I said wave the wand or become the magician because right now you can make changes in the relationship that's basically what I'm trying to say it's a good time to um, say you're gonna make the changes give the relationship just as much energy as you do the work as you as you work and someone is probably um, thinking that it's hard to balance that out but it can be balanced out at this time because like I said this relationship or someone in the relationship has the power to make the change to balance out this connection instead of being so focused on work and making money so 
that's why it's all happening. So, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'll put a link below of the extended where I'll go through how the both of you feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario. What's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks if I don't get a chance to do the extended? There's going to be a link below for personal readings. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. I hope 2020 is going good for you. I hope February continues, or I hope February is a good month for you. And I just want to say, make sure, make sure you comment. Leave a comment if you get a chance or if you'd like to. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. And once again, I appreciate you for listening. And thank you so much. And have a great day.